hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is marion and on today's tutorial we are doing this midi kimono so the length is midi as you can see we'll also be putting in lining and the sleeves are short sleeve with a bit of circular flounce at the hem so if you want to know how to do this let's go straight into the video and if you like the video please be sure to subscribe and leave a comment for me to just tell me anything okay Hi everyone, so this is the fabric that I'm using and then of course you need your fabric, scissors, you need your tape measure and then you need chalk. So as you can see over here, my fabric has like some interesting patterns so I just can't cut it anywhere. So for symmetry I want to, to use either this part like as the center front or the center back as well as this part as well as this part either center front or center back for the kimono so that it's going to be symmetrical and balanced so going straight into it i'm going to fold it over here because of this um, fabric design how the print is there's going to be a bit of wastage of fabric because now you see when I fold it like this and I only need to cut up to here for the kimono I'll have wasted all this part so just that's just how it is if you want something to look good something to be symmetrical these are the some of the things you need to think about when you're choosing your fabric so I'm just going to fold it, make sure it is equal and balanced. <laughs> so I shall start by cutting the back pattern of the kimono and then I'm using to start the neckline here and do the hemline on that side because of how this um, these patterns are i just feel like it will look better if this is the bottom i don't know just for my eyes anyway so starting i'll start by measuring the shoulder shoulder measurements divided by two that's seven and then going down from the shoulder from the top here i'll be measuring the armhole measurement at nine inches and then I'll also measure the bodice measurement at 15.5 inches. And then from 15.5 inch, which is the waistline, I'll be measuring the hip line 9 inches from the waist. Yeah, and then with all that, I'm going to be measuring at this armhole measurement, I'll be measuring the bust line which is bust line divided by 4, so that's 36, divided by 4, 9, and then 36 divided by 4, Wait. 18, yes, 9, and then we're going to add 1 inch for sewing allowance at that point. Then for the waist, we are going to do the same, 30 divided by 4, which is 7.5 plus 1 inch, 8.5. And then for the hip, we are also going to do the same. 40 divided by 4, 10 plus 1, 11. And you're just going to join those lines. At the ample, you're also going to do join it using a curve like that. Then from the hip line going down, you're just going to do a straight, a straight line at 11 inches. So just straight line to the hip from the hemline. So I hope you can see the chalk. Okay, for the 
neck you'll do three inches across and then 1.5 inches going vertically and just connect that with a with a smooth curve then here going down one inch at the shoulder connect that to the neckline I'm so used to working without a ruler but for some of these lines if you cannot do freehand please get yourself a ruler so we are going to cut this out <laughs> so I want to show you what I meant when I said symmetrical so you see if this is the center center back you can see this the left and the right they look the same so the kimono is going to be better looking than if just this was in the middle of or just something whatever and then what i meant by saying that we are going to have some wasted fabric is because now this this whole part this whole part of the fabric has gone to waste like i cannot use it for this project as well as when i fold it over here for the center front this other part will be will be gone you don't have to do this but if you really want your outfit to be symmetrical using a fabric like this it is really important so we are going to i'm going to go ahead and fold it like that again to cut out the front the front part of the kimono <laughs> I'll just use this as my as I'll just use this to refer like as a pattern because there's no need to do the measurements again. And I'm just going to leave like a small allowance over here around 0 0.5 inches. Is it the same? Okay, let me do it the same way I did this one. The same side. So leave a lot, a, a little allowance over here. So we are done and this is yet another pattern of fabric that you are not going to use but it's not really waste fabric because you can do a lot of things with cutouts like this you can make patches for other projects you can you know it's a lot so it's not really waste fabric as such so after this I'm going to cut the neckline for the front and for the front we need it to be a little bit deeper so we are going with five inches by the usual three inches on the side then cover it like that For the front as well, because it's two pieces, you're going to separate at the center front so that you have two front pieces. So here we have back piece, then the two front pieces. Now I'm going to be cutting the sleeves.
so sleeves done and then because the the what the sleeves have like a circular bell sleeve thing here going how do you call it bell sleeve or circular okay you have seen the kimono by now so for that attachment the circular attachment on the sleeve i'm going to cut it out from here so from this i'm going to be cutting the two pieces for the two sleeves so just imagining that it's a square like this okay <laughs> which is 22 inches by 22 inches now i'm going to fold it fold it again and then fold it twice more like that It's not too short. Is it too short? Hmm. Okay. So with that you're done with the fabric and the lining I'm using it's uh, a cotton and polyester blend. The idea when you're cutting lining is to cut everything like the same but for the main pieces which is the front and the back of the kimono i'm going to be cutting the lining about two inches shorter so that's what we're going to do right now just make make the the lining shorter by around two inches like it depends on what you want but for me i'm going around two two inches shorter Commissioner. <laughs> So first I'll start by I'll start by attaching the shoulders. So with the right side casing I'll attach the front shoulders to the back shoulders. After the shoulders, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to attach the sleeves. So right sides to right side.
All, both of the sleeves are in as you can see and sleeve one and sleeve two so now I want to go ahead and and finish the side seams both of them so I'll do this side and this side as well So right now this is what we have after after doing the shoulder, putting in the sleeves and then doing the side seam on both sides. So this is what we have. In fact, if you don't want to put lining and you just want it to be casual, this is the point where you can like do hemming at the bottom, at the sleeves and then do hemming at the front front opening and neckline and it would be just good to wear a lightweight kimono but because we are doing lining at this point we are going to to do to just sew the lining pieces as far as we have sewn this and then so i'm going to do that and then i'll come back and show you how i join the both of them together honestly raining so if you can hear a lot of if the audio is not really good, that's why. Anyway, so I had shown you up to this point where I had done the side seams and I had put in the sleeves. So I went ahead and did the same for the lining. So the side seam and the sleeves are in like that. So right now, the next part is I'm going to be doing the hemline so I'll put right side of the lining to the right side of the garment and I'm going to sew along along that hem just a straight stitch like that so now after the hemline is done I've already stitched over there okay so I've gone ahead and done sewed this side from the shoulder up to here and then always remember to snip the edges especially for a part a seam that is curved anyway so right now I'm just going to continue sewing from here do the neckline and do this other part and do this other side of the opening just on the wrong side so that it's not confused when it's still on the wrong side just do the whole uh, part like from the whole sides and neckline and then when, it, when you're going to be turning it right side out we will use the opening on the sleeve to turn it into the right side I hope it makes sense but anyway I'm going to sew it I'm going to sew so that you can see because this part over here with the lining and the fabric is already closed so I'm going to do the same to this side as well as the remaining neckline and then I'm going to come back to turn it right side out so that you can see
<coughs> yes, so here we are. I've done that line that I was telling you about. I'm going to snip some of the edges before we turn it right side in. There, over here at the neck, and then just make some snips along the neckline. So now, seeing that this is the wrong side of the both the lining and the main fabric, we are going to turn it to the right side, hopefully, <laughs> by just dragging this fabric into the hole like this. to iron mm. to iron especially the front opening over here and then and the bottom as well as the sides but this is what we have so far and now to finish off the sleeves we will be attaching the flounce. We shall be attaching this to the hem over here like that. Touching, we are going to do right sides together for these two pieces. Then do a straight hem all along and then turn it inside out before attaching here. So that's the sleeve when it's done that's how it's looking and i'm going to do the same for the other sleeve and then after all of this i will be overlocking this area to control the fraying and iron the kimono so and we will be done so thank you for watching and i hope you have subscribed so I'm just going to finish this and show you how it's going to look.